Just a quick little introduction on how to use this characteristics quadrilaterals investigation using Desmos Activity Builder and Geometry. So this first uh, activity slide is just a sort to get them rethinking the idea of what rectangles, kites, and parallelograms are. So they're just literally doing the card sort to sort the items into their various groups. Not too much here in an actual teaching, just uh, the idea of uh, making sure they understand the difference between the shapes. Uh, the first few actual geometry slides are just so they get used to the tools. So for example, in this one, they have to learn how to use the segment tool to create a diagonal. Things to keep in mind is when they're creating the diagonal, they do have to connect to the opposite side. So if they come close but don't connect, that won't be a diagonal that stays. So you want to make sure that when they do create their diagonals, they're actually connecting the points and that those diagonals stay stuck to the vertices. So no matter how they change the points, that works. One thing also to keep in mind is uh, selecting things. So notice that when they select items, they get tools that show up. Also, on the toolbar menu, depending on what they select, they have different things available. So if they choose midpoint and they select that item, it's going to build a midpoint on that link. In Desmos geometry, there are no measurement tools. And so in order to do that, we've created something here where they can use this as a measuring tool. And the red point is a point that you rotate around. And to measure the length of something, they line it up with the red point on one end, and then they drag this green point to change its length. And so they get a, a relative size there, and then now they can change that and move it over to the other segment. And just by rotating it, they can see that they're the same length. We don't have an angle measuring tool either yet, but we can uh, estimate the size of angles compared to a right angle relatively easily. And so you can do that with this tool. Uh, this is a right angle that rotates around the corner of the red vertex. And so if they put the red vertex at, an, at the uh, angle where they want to measure, they can rotate it and see whether it's a right angle or not. And they can do that for any angle that exists. So they can check that that's a right angle and they can check that this one isn't a right angle. The actual investigation then follows and because we're looking at diagonal, just remind them that that's something they're going to be constructing in each case. So in every case they're going to construct the diagonals from the vertices and then they're going to be comparing the lengths of the diagonals and how they are bisected, if at all. And so they have to actually create the bisections and measure the angles to verify whether they're right angles or not. And so they have um, parallelograms to do. They've got uh, parallelograms that are all rhombuses. So these are constructed to be uh, always a rhombus. And so they can see if there's any special cases there. Then we look at rectangles. So no matter how they change these shapes, it's always going to be a rectangle. And then we have investigating kites. And so again, this is always a kite. No matter how they change the points, it will always stay in the shape of a kite. We're looking at uh, some special general uh, quadrilaterals here. So this is just any quadrilateral in this slide. Uh, so it can be changed into any shape. And then we have some quadrilaterals that have certain properties. So in this case, this is one where we're looking at a quadrilateral where the diagonals are always perpendicular to each other, and that's the only characteristic. And so depending on how they move the points, they get different quadrilaterals made, and they can check the, the properties there. This is another one where the diagonals are all of equal length. And so depending on how they uh, move the points, you get different things being constructed. And you can see it kind of falls apart because that diagonal then would be uh, longer than the other one. And so that shows part of the construction here that forces the diagonals to be the same length. 
Finally, they can put in their summary of the results so they can determine whether or not in each case, and this is just for them, so they, for example, they, they can just type in yes or no for each of these things, uh, whether they're bisecting each other uh, and perpendicular, and that's their summary page. And then at the end, there is a sort of a, a test their skills sort of thing. They can take their characteristics and see if they're correct. So in this case, my quad rule has diagonals that are not the same length. Uh, they have two diagonals that bisect each other and they have diagonals that are not perpendicular, and so we're asked to figure out what type of quadrilateral that is. Hopefully they'll figure out that's parallelogram, and if they do, it gets success, and if they choose the wrong one, nothing happens. You can see that they can choose all of them. Uh, one thing that they can do here is they can just click this button here to generate a new situation, and also keep in mind that when they do, uh, they should bring their um, labels back up to the top before they click this next situation. And that way they can practice a number of different uh, situations on their own.